round four then in Wicklow, the Quilsha Emerald Enduro. Joining me today is Tracy Mosley. Good morning. Three times world champion, not intimidating at all. And we have got 46 kilometers of racing, one day, six stages. Tracy, here's how today is going to work. You are going to ride at around about one tenth of what you would normally ride slowly at. <laughs> nah. But yeah, this is stage one, so this is all new for this year. Any riders who've raced here at previous rounds, this is brand new to them. Oh, now this is bone dry out here. Look at the speed she's hit that at! Wah! Steepens up now. Towards the spot and bit a wee bit. Tracy's making light work of this! Oh. How was that for you? Pretty fun. Do you know what? It felt like a pretty long stage. Yeah. I think because it's fresh and it's new. Right. Lots of line options. I think everyone's going to really enjoy that one. Okay. Dropping in for stage two. This was stage one last year for anyone who raced last year. This is where it gets super fast. Pinballing. Staying in a rut. This is probably one of my favourite sections last year. It just has tons of speed out in the open, like a little pump track. Pack on the back wheel of Tracy Mosley now. I'm coming. This is a flatter section of this trail and carrying speed, pumping is kind of really key. Fast mud hole and straight into the finish. Stage two done. How many runs would you do of that in practice? For the last two years here, I've always tried to do two runs of each track. First run's a bit more exploring, second run you can kind of dial it in a little bit more. And that's enough to race? Yeah, I think so. Stage three, into the famous rocks, high up above Wicklow. This is a stage where the crowd is just absolutely insane. Being able to hold your nerve, not get too carried away. You stick to the lines you practice, is kind of key. <laughs> And even this point, it's like a tunnel of people. So once you get to here, you almost breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> this was a terrible idea. Oh! <laughs> and there were a lot of punctures here last season. The cool little huck over here, the line up and over. Probably not the one for Rick to follow. Done yet. Done yet. <laughs> <laughs> This is a dead stop turn! <laughs> <laughs> Alright Rick? Yeah, great Tracy, thanks very much. This is still pretty flat. And trying to flow and maintain a bit of rhythm is really, really important. Good one, eh? That's work the whole way along. Yeah, that's definitely for me, it's going to be the one where you can make time. Dropping into stage four. Pretty different to last year with the trees being felled. Oh, I'm getting hit by roost from Tracy's back wheel. The bottom of here, trying to make the turn. It's always a hard, tricky bit. You want to let go, but you've got a right hand turn here. No burn. Wah! Making sure you get that's going to be key. But this whole race, because it's so tight and compact and long day, really suits those neat and tidy riders. But the stage just keeps getting less and less steep. Oh, that's hard work. Every liaison you're going to do, you, you'll cross a live race stage. You'll be able to cheer your friends on racing. You'll also get a massive push from the crowd. Stage five, the penultimate stage of the day. Look at Tracy go. This stage actually has got the most climbing out of all the stages, all of 10 meters. And look at that view. Chances of getting pinched down here are pretty high. So dropping in here, this is one of the old school Irish downhill tracks. Big load of fans down here, lining the trail. Whoa, it goes left. I think it went right last year. So we may end up having a lot of rain on Saturday, which could change the complexion of this place all together. All right. Stage six, here we go. Once the riders get to this point, they will have been racing for five hours. Whoa! <laughs> oh look, she knows where she's going as well. Oh, what chance have I got? Tracy has just dropped me like a microwave off the roof of a block of flats. And then this is an awesome section. Just a real natural bomb hole. 
like up and down that kind of rhythm changes from going flat out to then being in control making sure you're getting good pump setting up early the stage will be lined with fans still got to climb and your legs are going to be screaming at you time to speed super fast into the finish of stage six end of the race yeah Tracy awesome oh. day this is it then the riders will be happy to see this end of the pits back here in Wicklow and the finish line in sight and what a big day out in the hill